Hey there, how you doing today? My name's Michelle Zemba and I teach Tai Chi and Tai Chi Fit. Let's get together and hang out for a little bit and do some Tai Chi together to help cultivate good health and vitality. So I I'm feeling kind of tired. I don't want to stand up today. I think I'd like to share my Tai Chi sitting down and this way you can also sit down and enjoy this class and learn how we can incorporate our Tai Chi in this seated position. So you can join me. I'm going to scoot right up to the edge of my chair uh, just until my sit bones are like right to the edge. And I'm gonna keep my feet flat on the floor. And my hands are gonna rest in my thighs. And we'll begin our class today with some real easy stretching. I'm gonna first gaze up to the ceiling. And I'm gonna think of lifting my chin to the ceiling, not necessarily rocking my whole body back, but lifting my chin, feeling a stretch through the front of the neck. And then I'm gonna come back down into the center. All right, let's try that again. See, make sure my nose uh, orifices there are, are nice and clear, right? Lift that chin up, check out that nose, pointing tall to the ceiling, stretching the front of the neck, and then back down into the center. How about one more time? I'm just gonna draw the chin up, look to the heavens, and then back down into the center. And now I'm gonna take my ear, and I'm gonna bring my ear down to my shoulder as best as I can, opening the side of the neck, the side of the spine, and back into the center. And then other ear, other side. This is fantastic for relieving some tension in the neck and in the back of the head, migraine headaches. It also helps to slow a busy mind. We've got a ton of things to think about while we're sitting around doing a whole lot of thinking, right? Ear to the shoulder. Which side feels tighter today? One last time, each side. And last time. Now back up into the center. I'm gonna simply turn my head and look over my shoulder. Crunch, 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 pop, 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 pop. Oof. I hear all kinds of noises, right? Turn and look over the other shoulder. Think of keeping your shoulders down and relaxed. Be aware, sometimes we have a tendency as we start to turn our shoulders, we'll bunch our shoulders up to help that head turn. And in this case, we wanna make sure that the shoulders stay nice and relaxed. We're wringing out the spine from the base of the skull all the way down to the top of the shoulders. Last time at each side. One last time. Good job. Now my hands are just gonna fall off of my thighs and they're gonna float up to about shoulder height. I'm gonna fold them into the center like I'm hugging my best friend. I'm gonna turn my hands over and my hands are gonna come to rest on my thighs again. My hands are gonna fall off my legs, a nice inhale up into the center, sinking our chi, starting nice and slow. Hands fall off the sides, into the center, and sinking chi. So my hands are gonna come to my thighs, and here we're gonna open the door. 
So my hands are going to brush down my legs off of my knees. They're going to float up to about shoulder height. And then they're going to sink right back down and my hands are going to touch my knees. Back up my leg. And then again. This is opening the door. Nice exhale, hands float down. And again, opening the door, nice inhale. The breath helps lift those hands and they're only gonna go as high as your breath will allow them. How about one last time? Good job. So my hands are going to be resting on my thighs. They're going to fall off the edge. They're going to float up to about shoulder height. I'm going to embrace the moon. This hand on top. I'm going to catch my ball nice and small. And hands come out to the side again. And I'm going to catch the moon on the other side. And this bottom hand, I'm letting my bottom hand just skim and rest onto the tops of my legs. So when we're doing our Tai Chi in a seated fashion, though our lower body doesn't get to move around as much, we have the opportunity to draw the energy down the body by stimulating those parts of the body. So we're drawing the energy down into the legs because I'm letting my hand and my arm touch my leg down here. So it brings my mind's attention down here, bringing energy down into the legs. Good job. Hands come out to the sides. And here, out to the sides, I want you to bring your fingertips up towards the ceiling down towards the floor, up to the ceiling, and down to the floor. One more time. And then with those fingertips up towards the ceiling, I want you to turn your torso into the corner, and then back into the center again, and twist other way, other side. Don't break anything. Back into the center. One more time each side. And last time. Good job. Hands are going to come into the center like we're hugging our best friend. Turn your hands over. Hands will rest right on the legs. Let them fall off the side. Up along our side into the center. And our hands are going to turn over. And as they're coming down to the knees, I'm going to lift my heels. And then my heels come down. Hands fall off the legs. They lift into the center. My palms turn over as my hands come down. My heels lift. And then again. Into the middle. And lift the heels. And heels come down. Good. This time here, hands are going to come up along my side. I'm going to embrace the moon, this hand on top. I'm going to let my bottom hand skim along my legs, catching my ball. Hands out to the side. One more time. Good job. Top hand here of the ball is going to come to my hip, my waist, just resting. And I'm going to take this foot and I'm going to bring it out into the corner. My hand that's here along my leg is going to offer out a cup of tea or throw out the mail, toss away. And I'm going to simply rock my weight a little bit, extending forward. I'll bring my toes up as I come back. 
the toes forward as I extend out. This is the bottom part of parting horse's mane in a seated position. And I'm letting that bottom hand touch my leg and then offer out. I'm gonna bring my other hand off my waist or off my thigh. It's gonna come back and catch the top of the ball. And that bottom hand still offers out and the top hand pushes down and away. So that top hand pushes down and away and then circles big and around and pushing down and away. Excellent. One more time. Good job. This back hand here, let's spike that hand under. Big spiral all the way around, and I'm going to catch the bottom of the ball. And I'm going to bring that ball back into the middle. And my forward foot will now come back. I'm going to take that other foot and bring it to the other corner. Top hand is going to come to my thigh, my waist, my lower back. And my bottom hand is going to toss away and then back down, let your hand touch your thigh and toss away. Bottom part of parting horse's mane over here on the other side. So a nice inhale, we come back, exhale, a nice small extension forward. I really enjoy Tai Chi in a seated fashion. We get the same health benefits and it's not as vigorous as standing and moving around and having to balance. It's a great way to start the day. And as that hand comes back down to the bottom of that ball, the other hand's going to come off the waist or the thigh and catch the top of the ball. And we're going to remember that this top hand pushes down and away and circle big around and down and away. You guys are looking awesome today. One more time. Parting horses made. Good job. This hand over here spikes under big circle all the way around into the center here. I'm going to catch my ball, bring that ball into the middle, bringing my forward foot back. I'm going to open my hands across my chest, up overhead. And then as my hands come down, I'm going to lift my heels. Let my hands touch my thighs. My heels are going to come back down. My hands come off my legs. They circle nice and tall above overhead. And as they sink down to the floor, my heels are going to rise to meet my palms. Once my hands touch my legs, my heels come down to the floor. One more time. Nice big circle up. Heels are going to come up as my hands come down. And then my hands are going to come up to my shoulders and my heels go down. And I'm going to trace my big Buddha belly. And I'm going to lift my heels up and then down. Up and then down. A big circle around. My heels are going to come up as my palms press down. My heels are going to press down as my hands float up to my shoulder. Circle those hands around the big Buddha belly. <laughs> and let the hands rest right here in the legs, on the legs. What a great workout today. My name is Michelle Zemba. I'm with Tai Chi with me. I had a great time today with you. Sashian.